Hey guys, Matchy here with another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. Um, this time we're going to be talking about quick mask mode and selection layers. Um, I actually did a long time ago a video about the same thing in Manga Studio 4. Um, it was actually about how to use uh, selection layers as quick mask mode in Manga Studio 4 debut, since quick mask mode was a solely EX feature. Um, now I think it's available in both versions of Clip Studio Paint and both versions of Manga Studio. Um, but they they both do include selection layers and quick mask. So um, we'll take a look at how to do both and um, how that's changed since my last video. And that video was, I think that might have been like my first video actually, and um, it was one of the most popular videos, which is why I thought um, it would be relevant to come back and and look at how that works um, in the newer version. So what I did was I just made the squiggle layer just to kind of show what this does. So um, basically quick mask is a thing that um, you would have found in Photoshop where you can just you make a selection and then you turn on quick mask and that selection becomes an editable layer that you can edit with say your brush tool or any of your um, raster editing tools. So um, same thing in Clip Studio Paint. I can't recall exactly how it went down in, in Manga Studio 4, but here in the newer version what you do is when you make a selection you would come up here to selection, drop down menu, and then to quick mask. Boom, and then you have a quick mask layer. And then you can take that layer and you can edit it by either, you know, adding to it. So I want to add to this selection. And anything that you make here in this red becomes part of the selection. And um, that's true of, you know, you just saw I drew on there. You can also see that I can delete. So I'm, this is meaningless drawing here but um, just to show you what it does so then um, and, it, and it shows up as a layer here but it's just a temporary layer so then when you come back up to selection and you uncheck quick mask you're back in your main layer and the selection of what you drew there um, is a selection and you can do whatever you want like for my example I'm just deleting it out of this squiggle that I did in the background and you can create some interesting shapes, make certain corrections. And the, the uses for this is pretty endless. It's a very useful tool. So um, that's Quick Mask. And the cool thing about that is, let's go all the way back. Uh, so the cool thing is, is you can have nothing selected and you can just go into selection, Quick Mask, start drawing, woo, and then go back out of Quick Mask. And there you have your selection. So, um, the other way you can go about this is selection layers, which I'm not 100% sure why they included this, um, because it was kind of really just a workaround to quick mask mode, or it might have been like an earlier version of quick mask mode, but it's still in here. Um, and there's, I guess there's different uses for it. Um, this one, convert to selection layer, you would go, it's same thing, it's right under quick mask in the selection menu, and you could do that and you get a selection layer. Um, I guess the advantage of this is, is, and you can tell the difference because it's green, although I think you can probably change those options. So same thing, you can draw, add, or draw, delete, whatever. And then, um, but to get that to be a selection, you have to convert selection layer to selection. So what the difference is is that you don't lose the layer, which really it's not that much difference different than just say if you were to, you know, create a new raster layer and then set the opacity back, draw in a different color, you know, blah 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 blah. And then you could also just you just right click on there and you have um let me find it. Which this is probably going off your screen. I apologize, but there's there's a selection over here called selection from layer, which um, and then you go create selection and it selects that layer. So that's the same thing as as the um, selection layer. So um, 
I'm, I'm not sure if, if the selection layer is that advantageous. I mean, maybe that's a few less steps, possibly. So um, really the, the greatest advantage of Quick Mask is that you save a step. So probably Quick Mask is the way to go because you can make a selection and, and you can do this either you can convert that selection to a selection layer or you can do Quick Mask. The cool thing about Quick Mask is when you're, when you're ready to be done. And here, let's see how it works even with a little more complex drawing selection and then you just turn off the quick mask and then you're you're ready to go you don't have to you don't have to select you don't have to do select and you don't have to turn off the layer and you don't have to switch layers you just stay on the same layer you're on so really quick mask is the way to go in my opinion um, but anyway so that's how you do it um, and it's pretty cool you can do a lot of cool things with this and it's very handy in a lot of situations. Um, I won't go into it because I want to keep these tutorials brief, but um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.